Hey, this is Glendon, and this joint is almost in old school of fashion. How to turn disaster into dollars. Had the re How to Grow Your Resale webinar last night, and I swear, a full moon was out. Let me tell you what happened. Signed on early. Did the audio check. Did the uh, webinar check to make sure the screen was showing. Everything was working. People were coming in. I was there like around, you know, the webinar started at 8 o'clock. I was there at 7.40, yeah, about 7.46, 7.48. And, well, that's when I let it on because I actually started doing stuff 10 minutes prior. Everything's going fine. People are starting to come in. I'm like, hey, what's going on? Got, you know, MC Hammer playing. We're having a little party. Then when it comes time to record the webinar, I had too many things on because I had the Blue Yeti on and some other stuff. I need to turn more stuff off because the recording software got hung. But no problem. Went to my other computer, went to the webinar, getting ready to download the link so I can record it on another computer. It didn't want to recognize the software. I'm just like, what? But, whew, been through this before. I've had many, many webinars, and for the most part, when I do a recorded webinar, none of this stuff happens. But when I try to, you know, pre-record it, none of this stuff happens. But when I try to do it live, that's when stuff just happens. And I was like, okay. Now, understand, the live aspect was good. The audio was good. Everything slides, no problem. But trying to record it, because there's, there's so many people are busy that, you know, they need that recorded session to get in. So, Bam. That's that saved the day. Had plan A, plan B, had to resort to plan C. Just uh, for your information, the audio recorders on all iPhones, because this is the 5, are awesome. They are freaking awesome. And if you're doing a webinar and you have an iPhone, you know, like I said, I had the Samsung Galaxy S3. Didn't hate it, didn't love it, but for what I do, this works much better. Turn the recorder on, and even if anything funky happens with your webinar or something, you still get the, you still have it recorded, and you can still do things with it. Now, here's to the funny stuff, because, you know, I was like, hey, Glendon, where's the story? I need a story. I need a story. I haven't had a story. And I was like, oh, this one's really relevant, and it happened last night. So we have all the technical difficulties. But like I said, it took me like two minutes to figure it out, and bam, went into the webinar. Then you know that part just went on. Didn't really have to stop it because if I had to cancel it and reset, it's a pain in the ass. Just push through. Well, go to the webinar. Everything's going fine, and I go ahead and present the content through the webinar. And at the end of the webinar, there's Q and A. Now this is where it gets interesting. This is where it gets tricky. First of all. Uh, so some people, and this is the first time this has ever happened in, ever, you know, give a webinar, most of the people that come there are about learning content. Well, obviously a hater showed up, well, a few haters, and, you know, they had their fun. But that's not the interesting thing. I'm sorry, haters, you got outshined by one of my ex-girlfriends. <laughs> I'm sitting there going through the questions, and I understand I had all this stuff that was going on with, you know, trying to get this thing recorded. And I'm going through the questions and it's like, I miss you. And I'm like, what the hell? All right, ignore. Then it's like, you don't love me anymore. <laughs> and, you know, then there's the, you know, the Mike Hunt person. And then there's the mother first. And I'm just sitting there like, okay, this is funny. This is crazy because, like I said, first webinar I've ever had that any of this stuff has all happened at the same time. Now, you know, I've messed up on webinars. I've actually had to cancel webinars because something went wrong. The audio wasn't coming in. All kinds of stuff. But I'm past that point. You know, the only issues now are trying to record it for prosperity and for people who can't make it. And I actually got that solved now because no matter what, it will be able, I will be able to get it done. So, I'm just going through this and then... The webinar ends, you know, have the questions, send out the emails. No, this is another thing. GoToWebinar has changed up their interface. You know, they used to have much more, you could customize it much more. Well, there was this email that goes out to people who didn't make it. And it says, send one day after webinar. Webinar was 8, eight o'clock. In my mind, one day after webinar would be 8 o'clock today. 8 p.m., right? No. <laughs> it's 
12 midnight show is out. I'm sitting there looking at it. I'm just like, I'll deal with it tomorrow. I'll deal. I don't know why. You know, that it was just like, okay, I thought that was, you know, and that's how it was in my mind. But once again, I had backup plans and everything. Made another um, email. Sent everyone, like, you You should have the email. If you signed up for the webinar, you should have the pre-recorded uh, webinar so you could check it out. And it'll be below this video. But the whole deal is, and this is going to segue into making money online offline business no business what whatever you're doing there's stuff that's going to happen it's just going to happen and the more successful you are the more people are going to fuck with you because that's the thing because you know i kind of laid low and i was working on projects and doing a lot of writing and working on stuff and then when i really start amping up again it's like you know you shake the hornet's nest and they come out because they have nothing else to do i mean there were many micro penis moments last night because clearly someone is overcompensating for their lack of success in life that's not my problem and i've learned to laugh at these people and just keep going on because the more successful you are the more they just, oh, I hate it. I hate, they can't sleep. So, you know, that's the thing. And actually, there's going to be another webinar, totally different, How to Develop Your Goals webinar that kicks off Monday. Links below. All, there's a ton of stuff below. But that one's going to be a little different. So we don't have any micro penis moments. There will be a $10 charge, which will be applicable to something else as a discount coupon or whatever just to keep the riffraff their micro penises out and hopefully the ex-girlfriends because now I'll get back into that because you know all of you love the dating stories and stuff and this is really not a dating story because I'm actually seeing someone I'm real happy with but I wasn't I, this just came out of nowhere because it's been a long time since we you know hooked up it's been a long time I wasn't thinking about this person and I was just shocked and appalled because this is my business. And I'm like, I don't go to people's jobs saying, hey, you know, I miss you. And no, that's crazy. That's not cool. And that's stalking. But then after the webinar and I'm just looking at the issues and that's like, OK, you know, how I'm going to do this, how I'm going to send this out. I'm getting these emails. Oh, you know, you don't want to talk to me. You and I'm just sitting there like, really? Really? You have got to be kidding me. Now, I'm going to tell you something about this chick. The reason that I stopped hanging out with her is because she's selfish. Now, she's no pound puppy. No, she's gorgeous. You know, pow, pow, bam. You know, I mean, seriously, a very lovely woman in all aspects, except She's extremely selfish, and the world should revolve around her. So that's why I cut out, like, you know, this is my policy. If I'm treating you really good, and I notice that you're not reciprocating, I'm going to raise my paw and go, hey, you know, something's wrong here. Because a lot of times people just for some reason know how to treat people. And after I raise my paw, and you still don't get the message, bounce and I'm gonna go on about my life and I'm not gonna mess with you I'm not gonna stalk you because you know, there's too many women out there there's just too many women to be doing that stuff but apparently and this is I'm talking about a long time and it's just like you, you got to be kidding me you got to be kidding me but once again if you're doing the resale business because there were some questions last night about people in their marriage and their spouse or girlfriend was not feeling the business. Leave that stuff alone. Go out and get a job. Now, I understand both sides of the argument. But the thing is, if you're in a relationship, and especially if you're married, you need to bring your husband or wife on board as soon as possible because, first of all, it's already hard. Okay, chasing any dream, storage auctions, resale, picking, it's already hard. And if your best friend, your partner in life is hating, it's going to, it could kill you. That could be your biggest problem, bigger than anything else you're dealing with. Because 
I got to say about my business partner, my business partner was the type, she would hide the shank. I'm like, hey, hold this. She, she hide the shank. She was that type. And really, if you're going to be that close to someone, because in many ways, your business partner, you may spend more time with your business partner than you do with your wife or husband. So it really has to be someone loyal, trustworthy. If you have that, and if your business partner is your wife or husband, then you know even better. They need to be of that level of they will hide the shank for you, wipe the blood off, you know, do whatever they need to do. But there's definitely some dynamics there because you know some of the questions I don't think I had everything because typically when a mate is not really happy with the business is because there wasn't any success and sometimes it takes time for success it, it, it takes time but that's a tricky one that's a hard one and you really got to do some internal work on that because it's hard enough out here and then you got to go home and fight again that's too much that's too much just in my opinion but if you want to turn disaster to dollars just don't know Shit's gonna happen. It's just gonna happen. You know, and that's one of the things that I had to learn in the store charging game because there were people, you know, they called the I call them hot volume spenders, you know, people like the whales, the big dogs, whatever. These are folks who just buy a lot of units because they have a business. I had to stop wishing that they wouldn't show up. So oh god, I hope he doesn't show up. Oh, they're in the business, they're gonna be there. You have to learn to deal with the situation and conditions as they are, not as you want them to be. Because that builds you up as a person that makes you stronger. That that gives you that extra energy because when I changed my mindset around and you know upped the ante, I started being more successful because understand, obstacles, problems, bad days, they're not going away. They're not going away. How you deal with them makes a huge difference in how much trouble they're going to cost you. Because, you know, the stuff that happened last night, three and a half years ago, when I did my, you know, three years when I did my first webinar, oh man, that would have destroyed me. It would have destroyed me. There was just so many that I would have been in a funk for a week or two. And, and you know, and while this is going on, I'm cracking up. I'm just like, can you believe this shit? And I went to bed cracking up just thinking. You, this is going to make such a great video in the morning. This is going to make a great video. And that that's just to show you that. Because you know, people think I have like this wonderful, stress-free, error-free, problem-free life. And when you start a business, when you do videos, because i got to talk to a friend about that because his life's about to start going crazy. He doesn't know it yet, but I'm going to give him some tips. The deal is, things happen. The more that you put yourself out in the world the more that you raise the hornets because you're changing your personal reality and you're moving all kind of energy around and a lot of that energy is not happy that you're changing because things feed on certain energy so if you're just you know the matrix the battery deal you're breaking free from the matrix and the matrix not happy you know some people would say the devil's not happy and the devil's bringing all this to your life I don't think it's so much the devil. I think that we live in a physical and spiritual world, but it's not so much of a moral label. If you change your energy from this, you're pulling energy from this space and you're taking it here. This space doesn't like losing that energy, so there's going to be this fight and then there's this internal struggle. And you, you have these problems and issues. I'm telling you, it's like when you start your business, there is nothing else greater or easier than to stir up the winds of disharmony like nothing you've ever seen all kinds of stuff starts popping up and that's just a sign of success the more disharmony the more hornets the crazier stuff the more haters you have you're actually going in the right direction all right this is glendon i'll check you out in the next video oh before i go um for almost forgot Anyone that wants to join the Hustler Mindset, this is what you do. Because currently it's closed. And it's not going to open up until I finish rearranging some stuff. But if you want to be in there, go to the blog, storageauctionshowgun.com, hit Sparta tab, and there is a box. And it's an email box. And the only thing you're going to get an email 
for me from that box is when Sparta reopens. If you want to be down, just go ahead and put your name on the list. When it opens, I'll send it out. And that's that. Deuces. No, like that. Deuces, right? I think. Yes, yeah, something. Yeah, deuces. Just like that.